threading portion of the What's New in GibbsCam 2023 video series. In this release, we added three new major threading capabilities, one of which is what you're seeing on the screen right now. In 2023, we now have the ability to program face threads. So if I jump over to GibbsCam here, I actually have um, some operations that I've already created, and I'm just going to walk you through how I created them and, and what each one does. Um, as I introduced before, um, this first one is going to be face threads. So um, let's open this process dialog box here. So um, the, the box looks a little bit different now. Um, we now have um, uh, two new options here, front face and back face um, for machining front face threads or back face threads respectively. We also have a, a X plus X minus button here where you can control the direction of your machining, um, whether you want to go upwards or downwards. And so I just put in a, a constant pitch here, something like you know three, um, and it updates um, your pitch and your TPI when you do that. Um, we have a new graphic here. Um, it's pretty similar to what we had before, except to turn on its side. This is what we had before, um, and that's, this is what it looks like for the front face. So you still put in um, your X value where you want to start, your X value where you want to stop, um, run in, run out, as well as your clearance planes here. And um, the other thing you need to uh, still do is put in your thread depth here, um, and that's going to depend on your tool. Real quick, I just want to look at the tool just to show you what we're working with. Um, we're just working with a, a pretty standard um, grooving tool here. All right, so let's jump into a simulation here and hit play. So yeah, um, pretty easy, pretty easy to use. Uh, we've had a lot of people ask for this, so um, I'm happy to say that we do have it now. The next thing that we added is, um, uh, is variable pitch threads. So if I look at this new operation, we're back onto our OD threading here. And let's take a look at this process dialog box. So another new option we've added in this box is variable pitch here. And rather than just put in a constant pitch or TPI like you're used to, you put in a start pitch, so that's a pitch it's going to start at, and an end pitch. And then depending on the distances that you're machining, um, we have roughly three inches here, it's going to calculate the change in pitch here. So um, alternatively, I could just put in the change in pitch in this box and it would calculate what the pitch is going to be at the end. Um, so that's another way to do that. Um, yeah, other than that, there's really not that much new. You still want to put in, you know, your nominal, your major, minor, um, as well as your thread height. And that's all going to depend on, depend on your tool again. In this case, I'm using an Acme tool. Um, you can see that there. We'll see it in the simulation here in a second. Okay. So you can see uh, I started off with a relatively high pitch uh, for this tool and we just kind of lower it as it goes along um, this distance and then 3.5 is where I told it to stop right about here. So um, cool stuff that was possible before in GibbsCam but now this is a lot easier to do for sure. The last thing that we added is um, multi-pitch threads. And what that is, is you can define segments along the length of your thread um, where the pitch changes. Um, uh, but unlike variable, it's not, it's not a constant change. You can have it change for however you want. So this is truly a, a, a customized thread. Um, I've defined three segments here. So the first segment is about that first inch. Second segment is a little more than a, the second inch. And then the last inch is... Um, uh, the last inch is going to be um, the last segment here. So I'm starting off at 1.5 TPI, jumping up to 3, and then coming back down to 1.5. Now, I originally put 1.5 in here, um, but when I close it out, it actually calculates based upon, you know, the tool and how um, the, the length that I'm cutting and stuff, where it actually needs to stop to get the, um, the thread complete at the end there, right? 
Um, other than that, everything is the same in our box here. Oops, let me adjust my clearance planes. Um, all right, so let's take a look at this. You can see it starts off pretty low, increases the pitch here, and then drops back down just like we defined. So that's about it for what we've added in 2023 regarding threading. I know many customers have been asking for th face threading, and while variable pitch and multi-pitch threads were possible before, it's now even easier than ever to machine these features. I hope you've enjoyed this brief presentation, and I'll see you in the next video.